Let's play with the path tool a little bit. First, I'm going to click and delete these shapes. Just get these out of here. Go back to our pen tool. And I'll draw in a diamond shape. Close it up by clicking on the original point. You can now come back to this really path selection tool. Select my path. I can then move that path around anywhere I want to, as you can see, by using the path selection tool. If I have multiple paths, just do another, another diamond in here. I can choose which path I want to work on by using the path selection tool. Let's say I want to come in and add in some interior points onto this path. Go up here, let's grab our add anchor point tool. Since the path has been selected, I can add in these points like that. And of course I can move that around. If I want to add in points on this, click over here using the path selection tool. Click on our Add Point tool, and let's add some points in here, and just like that. Now, if I want to work with these points, move the points around, I need to use the other tool, the Direct Selection tool. Come in and click on a point, and you can then move that point around, just like that. Just click here, pull that point in. Click down here, pull that point. Those are the new points I put in have curves on them. You can click on a shape with the address selection tool and still select that shape. Let's go over here again. Notice I can click on it and it still selects that shape. If you want to just move the shape around, make sure you use the path selection tool. So I'm going to move this one up a little bit. Move this one down a little bit just like that. There we go. Back to our direct selection tool. and click on just that point. I'll pull these points in. Let's say I don't want to have those as curves. I'll go back up here, grab our convert point tool, click on those points and convert those points into straight lines just like that. Again direct selection tool and I can manipulate those. There we go. Let's say I want to have those as curves again. Back up to our convert point tool. Click and pull out from the point. And mix those into curves. And then to manip manipulate those curves, I can grab the ends of the handles like this, pull it in and out, move it around. This is how the curves move together. So by grabbing these control handles out here, I can manipulate that curve. Make it longer or smaller, just like that. Or I can move the point by grabbing the point and pulling the point out. Kind of a bow tie shape thing here. There we go. So there's several different ways of working with these different points in your shape. Let's go back to our regular tool over here, the Path Selection tool. Once you have a, a path selected, you can use other tools on this, other techniques on this. For instance, I go up here to the Edit and Transform Path and Rotate. And I can then rotate my path around just like that. I can grab these control handles and a control handle to rotate that path. I can scale the path by choosing the scale tool and scale the path in and out. And then click on the move tool and apply to apply those changes and then back again to the path selection tool to work with that shape. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos 
on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.